two years ago because a friend of mine who's an interior designer had asked me to do a painting for an event called Parade of Homes and I had never really painted before but I thought I'll give it a shot. I felt like something in myself had been awakened that I hadn't been tapping into and it was really, really cathartic and really, really um, peaceful. And so I started just painting and I just couldn't stop. When you're making art, you have to make it for yourself first. I mean, obviously you want people to like it, right? You want people to enjoy it, but you have to start with yourself first and foremost because that's gonna keep it authentic. When I'm creating art, again, I try to keep checking in with myself and being like, is this what I wanna do? And when I feel that pressure to create, for some other reason, I have to figure out where that's coming from and try to keep it as pure as possible because that's what's gonna make the end result the most, like directly out of me, the most pure. So whenever I do a show, whether it's a gallery or like a special event or something, I have people coming in to look at my art. The main thing that I want is for them to feel like a kid almost, to, to, to be inspired and to feel happy and just in a good mood and even if they don't buy anything I want you to have a good time I want you to be reminded of the simpler purer things in life art can sneak past the right brain and tap into that child imagination and, and those dreams and, and, and can really remind you of what's most important Everyone has this ability in them. Now, it may not look like what you expect it to look like, but you know what, that's okay. It also, people may say, it's not good, but also, who cares? Who are they? Where is the committee on what's good and not good? But yeah, we do that to ourselves all the time. We judge by this exterior standard on what's good and not good. You don't get to decide what impacts someone else. So I guess for me, whenever I'm talking to people, I'm like, listen, if you don't wanna paint, then don't paint. But if you're not painting or not doing insert whatever activity because you feel like you're not gonna be as good as someone else, you're gonna be held back your entire life because of that attitude. You can literally do anything you want as long as you're not married to the idea that it has to look a certain way. I feel like everyone is creative. Uh, everyone has this pulsating creative I imagine it to be blue if it was like a liquid. Just like a, uh, just a crackling energy inside of them for creativity. Now whether we use that or act upon that is completely up to us, but it's there in every human being. I feel like we all have creative potential. But I think that you have to exercise it. And if you don't, it's not gonna come out. It's not gonna grow. It's not gonna be strengthened. <laughs>